Yeah, we've been trying to do that for years here, but we just never get much of a disease pressure. We primarily look at Circos release spot. I have fungicide trials for that. And we're looking at Rhizoctonia. Did you ever get Rhizoc root and crown rot? We got a field of beets that hasn't been in a beach for 30 years. This is back. And it's just full of Oh, really? What'd you have in there before, like beans or corn? corn? That's interesting. Well, Rhizoc's a pretty common soil inhabitant. Um, and we, uh, well, I can't think of what chemical is. We sprayed that before. Quadris? Yeah. Didn't do anything? When did you spray it? A month ago. Okay. Because <clears throat> what we're looking at for our, our Rhizoctonia trials, Rhizoctonia will do what you call a uh, seedling rot where the plants never even come up. And that's not as much of a problem here as it is, say, in the uh, North Dakota and the Red River Valley, because yeah. our temperatures in the spring are too cool. Um, but lately, they've been pretty warm. And if you got a late sugar beet planting, um, we're starting to see more of that rot where it even doesn't even come up. And then also we're looking at where you get it into the root and crown later. And that's probably what you see a lot of, where you see the plant die later in the season. Yeah, yeah. and you pull a, pull a bead out. It's just a husk, right? Well, it looks like his pants are darker. Right. Yeah, it'll be all black. It'll cause that uh, necrosis on the outside of the beet. If you cut into that beet, it's still okay inside, but if it gets really bad, that whole beet will rot. But we're well, looking... That's, what, that's what's happening. Yeah. Well, what we're looking at, we're looking at different ways to control it. One, one trial we have over there is uh, just seed, piece treat, seed treatments, where we treat the seed, you know, where they're encapsulated. And so then what we, um, no, that's an insecticide. Oh, yeah, yeah. Various fungicides, I'm not really sure. The one company, um, Syngenta, they're not really telling us what they are yet. <laughs> so it's just kind of coded. But what we're trying to do is control it um, with, with seed treatments. And also we look at treating that furrow when we plant it with a fungicide like Quadris or uh, um, Right behind the plant. Well, the way we do it, we have to plant, leave an open furrow. I go and spray it. But yeah, technically, you do it behind the plant or before it seals out. What happened if you could you mix that quad with last year? This year would have worked. Last year we had a problem. We got a side dresser and put a front and drill, you know, with fertilizer. Uh huh. And one of the ones last year that I think didn't work. This year we didn't lose it, use it, we could have done it. You know, it's been kind of dry. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, that was it. When we looked at this pop up fertilizer, could you put that crotch with some pop up? I would imagine because Syngenta, you know, some of those might be quadrus, I'm not sure, where they're putting it right with the seed. And you're saying putting it actually with the fertilizer? Yeah, you, you, you use a pop-up fertilizer and you put on three to five gallons of phosphate. So it's a liquid? Yeah. You know, I haven't, I'd have to check with the label. I don't really know if you can co-apply it with that. That's a good question. Um, I mean, we've never tried it, but... Because, like I say, that we bought this fertilizer thing three years ago and it really works. Got a disc up front, you know, single disc. Drop that fertilizer in there. But last year it didn't because it was just so damn muddy. And that disc would just slip. Just roll up that drill. Right. I would imagine too, it really depends, is it really spread it out? Okay. Well, like a broad, like a broadcast type spray or is it dribble it out? Right See, if it dribbles, it's probably not going to control very well because it's got to cover yeah, That was every... on the front, but if you put it on a pop-up, it's behind. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Did, yeah, if people want to stop to talk about sugar beets, we can do that. Or um, Is this the only other one? Or Okay. So how many trailers are there? Just two. Okay. My beets? Eh, they're okay. Be out than they ever have. That's 
<laughs> yes, I've heard. If we can get him in the ground early. Yeah. What, uh, what can I see to you? Uh, this is uh, the Sagenta. It's a Sagenta. Um, it's a Hildeshog, Roundup Ready. Yeah. And then in my general trials, I'm using a uh, um, Beta 66 or Beta 66 RR60 because it's susceptible to. Well, rise we up. had some trouble with Hildeshog. <laughs> Is it a 70? Yeah. Say, we've planted 70 in the past, and it does really well against Rhizoctonia. In fact, I don't want it in my trials anymore because well, it's too it that, resistant. And, and it, it plants the seed that's resistant to uh, nematodes. Oh. Now, we had the ground checked. We had no nematode count, but we took it anyway. We had some trouble with it. Yeah, we mostly use the 60 in here because it's real susceptible. And uh, and what we're finding is when we when we inoculate the furrows when we plant the seed, we actually put the rhizoctony in with it. Uh -huh. And we're getting with our seed treatments, we're getting protection. The plants are coming up, but then by now they're all dead. The, the crown rot kind of still attacks them. The chemical's pretty much dissipated, so it's dead. So the other row next to it, we planted it normally without any inoculum, but then we come back later and inoculate the crown. You know how in the old days when they used to, before Roundup, where they would cultivate, you kick up that dirt into the crown, you'd get rhizoc. So we try to simulate that, and what we're finding is, even though it's early seed treatments, we're getting a little bit of protection still from that seed treatment, which which is pretty interesting. And we're also looking at just furrow applications where we spray the chemical right in the furrow and we get pretty good results that way too.